January 19th is Alec Baldwin's least favorite day ever. I did not ask him about that. I just know it. Because on this day, January 19th, last year, prosecutors in New Mexico charged him with manslaughter in that movie set shooting that killed the cinematographer. Uh, they eventually actually decided to drop the charges. Uh, that happened a couple months ago. And then came today, January 19th, this year. And they have done it again on the very same day. They charged Alec Baldwin for the shooting for a second time. What is with January 19th? He is again facing the real possibility of going to prison for manslaughter if the state gets a conviction. Officially, it's involuntary manslaughter. Uh, but that's what a grand jury in New Mexico chose to indict him with again. Remember that he was the actor holding the gun that went off during a rehearsal. He says he was handed the gun, that it was cleared. Several people yelled, cold gun, meaning no bullets. But there was a bullet in the chamber, and Helena Hutchins was shot dead. Joel Souza, the director, was injured. All of this happened in 2021. Um, and this was Alec right after the shooting. Are you doing okay? No, I'm not, actually. Okay. Yeah. Just leave that stuff on, sir. Um, yeah, leave them on right now. So I'm going to talk to my crime scene tech. So um, aside from the, the gun being designated cold, Baldwin insists he didn't even pull the trigger on, on all of this. Take a listen. The trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So you never pulled the trigger? No, no, no. no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. Baldwin could face up to 18 months in prison if convicted, and his attorney says, we look forward to our day in court. I look forward to talking to Steve Wolf because he is a safety expert with guns, special effects. He's a coordinator. He's the CEO of Wildfire Suppression Company, Team Wildfire. So you know how guns on sets work. You know how actors work with guns. You know the courses they have to go through. You know what producers have to do, and Alec was a co-producer. What do you make of this whole second bite at charging him? Well, if they have the legal right to charge him, they certainly have the basis. The charge is involuntary manslaughter, and that means you killed somebody and you didn't mean to do it. And both of those things are true. So it's a correct charge for what happened. Here's the, the thing um, I'm looking at as I look at the they've got him on involuntary manslaughter, Steve, but there's two definitions, basically. And, and the way The New York Times puts it is um, the first theory basically accuses him of, quote, total disregard or indifference for the safety of others. I'm struggling with that one. I, I don't think that, you know, Alec Baldwin was going pew, pew, pew with with guns through a set. But OK, but the yeah, second well, that, theory that's actually, is. Yeah, go ahead. That that definition is not the one that the state of New Mexico uses, which just says, you know, failure to exercise due care. And that absolutely was the case. Due care when you're handling a firearm on set means, you know, that somebody checks to make sure there's nothing inside there. That's not an unreasonable claim. Somebody checks the ammo to make sure that it's not live ammo. That's not unreasonable to ask. So, you know, a minimum bar for safety was was not reached. All right, so without due caution or circumspection, or circumspection, that's, that's the more serious one. The, the other one is negligent use of a firearm. So with regard to that, uh, you know, they're, they're accusing him of operating without due caution or circumspection. And I'm looking at him saying, I'm an actor, here comes the assistant director, they're yelling cold gun, I'm taking it. So is my due caution and circumspection, I wait to hear cold gun before I take gun. And, it, and while you're explaining it, you have the actual gun. Show me what more circumspection he would have needed to, to do to avoid all this. Like, show me what he would have had to do up high. Yeah, very simply, you, you open this up, you look here. If there's no ammo there, it, then it's a cold gun. Uh, so that's not, not a lot to ask of somebody. Even an actor could look and see, you know, whether this is an empty hole or whether there's a round there. So that's that's not asking a lot of anyone. Uh, and then the person who took, yelled cold gun. It took like gun, two seconds, right? To, yeah, to right. To open it up, and it the took person two who seconds yelled to, cold to gun was the assistant director. The assistant director is not the armorer. Alec knew that. So that has no more weight than if the caterer yelled cold, cold gun. They're not the person in charge of the gun. Thank you for watching.
Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.